What's up Trophy Hunter, we have a brand new sale in the PlayStation Store, the PlayStation Indies, where you can save up to 80%. There are a lot of easy and cheap Platinums in this one, and it would be ridiculous to cover every single easy Platinum. So I decided first of all to throw out the video with the fastest Platinums you can buy. I found 18 games which can be done within 15 minutes, sometimes less. But please keep in mind a few of them are skill dependent. The sale is huge so I will definitely do another video about some easy platinums so stay tuned. Ok enough talk, let's jump right into it. Numero uno is Takorita Fries. The game is cross by between PS4 and PS5. The game is a visual knower and if you decide to skip through all the text it's possible to get the platinum within 5 minutes. A platinum walkthrough is recommended, you can find one on my channel. The next two games on my list are Memory Lane and Memory Lane 2. Each game is just $2 and can be completed within 15 minutes, maybe less if you're good at memory games. In each game the goal is to reach 20,000 points to get the platinum. Less mistakes means more points so the platinum is just a matter of time. It is also a very good game for kids. The next game is one of the easiest and fastest platinums in the PlayStation Store. The language of love can be done within 3 minutes. It's a wish you know but there are no choices. Just set the text speed too fast in the settings, start skipping and after 3 minutes you will have a new platinum. The next game is Alien Destroyer. If you're a PS Plus member you can buy the game for just 50 cents. The game requires a small amount of skill because you need to dodge enemy attacks. The main goal of the game is to destroy every single enemy. The trophy list is very straightforward and it's possible to get everything in just one playthrough. One playthrough takes about 10 minutes. The next game on my list is Stormboy. This one is a beautiful story driven adventure game with some minigames. There are 9 minigames but the only 2 minigames you need to complete are the final 2 for the Our Hero and the Goodbye Trophy. For the others you only need to stay in for a few seconds to grab the corresponding trophies. A very straightforward platinum with a very sad story. The next game is Check and Chill DX. It's an action platformer and a small amount of skill is required to get through it. There are plenty of levels but to unlock the platinum you only need to beat all 20 levels in World 1. Fortunately each level is very short. With a small amount of platforming skills you should be able to unlock the platinum within 15 minutes, maybe a bit less. Next one on my list is Little Adventure on the Prairie. You need to complete 12 levels, each level takes about 1 minute. In the later levels some of the enemies can prove a bit tricky. But there's a small trick, just jump on top of the enemy thus allowing you to hit them without taking damage. And another tip is edge up to the enemy slowly and take advantage of the slightly longer reach your character has. The next one is a day without me. To get the platinum you only need to complete day 1. It's an adventure game with a lot of weird puzzles. If you want the platinum in 15 minutes check out my platinum walkthrough on my channel. The next game is Energy Cycle. Recently the game got a new trophy list on PS5. On PS5 you need to complete all 27 levels and on PS4 you need to complete the 27 levels and another 2 game modes. But fortunately there is a glitch exploit which makes the platinum very easy. If you need more information check out my platinum walkthrough on my channel. It's highly recommended that you use a walkthrough otherwise it can take a few hours to unlock the platinum. The next game is Super Weekend Mode. The platinum time is a bit skill dependent. You can choose between different costumes. I highly recommend select the princess custom because it's giving you extra lives after a stage. With some skill the platinum can be unlocked easily within 5 minutes. But if you play the game for the first time you definitely need a few more tries. But all in one it shouldn't take you longer than 15 minutes. The next game is another Wish and Nor game, Syrup and the Ultimate Suite. With text skip and a walkthrough the platinum can be unlocked within 15 minutes. If you need a platinum walkthrough you can find one on my channel. Next game is Deep Rush which is a 2D side scrolling shooter. All of the trophies in this game will come quickly and with very little effort. Simply play the game, upgrade one weapon to max and die, that's pretty much it. Just focus on collecting coins, killing enemies and making your way through each zone. 
the levels are random generated so each zone is different. You need to complete 100 zones but they are very short and cumulative. So basically you can grind for it in the first level. The next game is Glow and I know many people hate this game. The trophy list is very straightforward, you need to complete 20 levels and you need to die 50 times. It's a platform and requires a small amount of skill to get through it. With a perfect run it's possible to complete the 20 levels in 5 minutes. But you will definitely die a few times if you play the game for the first time. The next game is Inksplosion and many people found the game very difficult. But I personally think it's definitely one of the easier platinums. It's a twin stick shooter and of course it requires a small amount of skill. If you're good at this kind of games you can unlock the platinum within 5 minutes. But be aware if you really suck at this kind of games it can take up to 1 hour. The next game is called Sinuka Attack and is a mix between puzzle and platforming. The game and the trophy list is very straightforward and you shouldn't have big problems to unlock the platinum. There is no need for a guide or a walkthrough, the game is pretty self-explanatory. The next game is Tamiku which is another platformer game and the goal is to destroy all the balloons. The only step required for the platinum is you need to reach monster's cave level which is level 9. You have 3 lives per level and if you die on the level you will start on the current level you do not have to restart the entire game. And last but not least we have a very strange story driven game called Dulcray. Actually there is no real gameplay you just have select text answers. The game has multiple endings and it's necessary to unlock each ending so a platinum walkthrough is highly recommended. And yes of course you can find one on my channel. So guys that was my list for the fastest platinums on PlayStation Indies. I hope you found this video useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.